Okay, for the camera, let's give a nice round of applause for making it to the finals. Yay! This is the last game. Yep. Okay, we reach our finals in the scratch division. You're looking at Cameron Weir on lane five. Cameron's opponent, Anthony Douglas. Cameron eked out Perry in the last. Uh, Last match, Ooh, Cameron goes a little high and leaves the three six. Cameron, your sixth place seed today. Anthony, your third place seed. We had our pick your poison format. 52 scratch bowlers, 16 made the cut. Oh shoot, and Cameron does not open up this match very good. Cameron takes the three off the three six. Anthony going for his second title, his first scratch JBT title. And what a better way to start than your, op your opponent opening. Anthony's playing just a little tighter, you'll notice. playing super tight. The ball's not going to do a lot of hooking in the back end and he gets the four to trip. So Anthony with the strike, Cameron with an open. What's that? Jeez, yeah, okay. Change in the finals, best three out of five. Anthony with a, a good showing yesterday as well. Anthony starts off with a double and Cameron's got to get right back in it. Anthony. I would like to thank everybody here at 20th Century Lanes for hosting today's GBT tournament and yesterday's tournament. We always enjoy coming here. Great staff. Oh, and he goes a little light this time and leaves the two pin. So Cameron a little lost on this pair. Anthony just getting off. Five and six. Pick your poison. He got to pick his opponent, which obviously was Cameron Weir, and he got to pick his lane. So he picks the one he just got off and lined in on this lane, and he just got to bowl one more game for the title. Your number one seed, Ryan Showalter, going out in the first round. Kind of a tough loss for him. I'll let him soak. Ball by Cameron. I think all ten fell. Yep. And Cameron throws a strike, gets right back somewhat in the match. Anthony has not missed yet. Let's see if Anthony can throw a three row. Let's see, we got 
We got the two parents here, Cameron's parents, and then we got Anthony's parents who bring their own chairs. They're always very, very smart. And we got a few more in attendance watching. Anthony going up in the third frame, looking for turkey. Okay, that ball hooked early. He leads the three, six, nine, ten. Tough spare on tough conditions. Today, I can't remember if we talked about it earlier, but we were on the Viper. Scores were a lot higher than yesterday, bowling on the Cheetah. And game three had an interesting transition. I think the cut dropped quite a bit between games two and three. Scratch Division took 92 under to make the cut. That's 16 bowlers. 92 under. Your leader was only plus 43. Got a chance. Oh, well, see how that ball is kind of wants to grab the lane. It's going to chop that 3 9. And getting that 6 and 10 to come out, get out of there is pretty tough. Okay, so kind of a, a tough count on a double, six on a double, which you never want to see. But what can you do? You got to pick it up and start all over and start your string. Uh, entering the fourth frame, match is pretty tight. Cameron could take a lead with a double. Cindy to the lounge, please. Cindy to the lounge. Anthony leaves a bucket. So after going high, he makes an adjustment. And next time he goes light, leaves the bucket. Another six count, another tough spare. This one a lot easier than the last spare. Okay, he picks it up quite nicely. So, a good spare there. Cameron looking for the double in the fourth frame. Cameron looking for a double. Ooh, and he goes light and gets a washout. One, two, four, ten. These bowlers bowl a lot of games to get here, bowl five and qualifying. I think almost every match of Cameron's went the distance uh, as far as the first two rounds. So 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14th game right here. 13th game. Ooh. Doesn't get the pin to hop off the back and takes a 6 3 and. I think he's got the lead.
Oh, it looks like Cameron's got the left lane down. Let's see if he can get the right lane down. Keeps that one a little tighter, doesn't send it out as far as six, and definitely a way better shot. So halfway through the match, Cameron's looking at 57 to the fourth and striking the fifth. And Anthony's working on a spare in the fourth. We'll find out what his lead is after this first ball. Strike gives him the 15 pin lead. Hey, Anthony's up by 15 pins. And both have strikes in the fifth. One game for it all. $100 scholarship to the runner up, $200 for first. Anthony up taking a long time between shots. The shot looks pretty good. Oh, and he gets the 10 to come out and double. Okay, let's see if Cameron has an answer for that. Anthony trying to take a 25 pin lead. Let's see if Cameron can grab that back. Six frame shots on the way. A lot of noise is going on. Let's see if he can concentrate. Oh, and it's a great shot, and he doubles as well. So back to that 15 point, 15 pin lead for Anthony. Two fifty two max for Anthony. Two thirty seven max for Cameron. You'll notice this match is way longer than the handicap match. We're actually gonna go away for a second okay, here.